Hi artists. Next we're going to add color to our abstract five. Um, in this one you can either pick to do use the warm colors and I used colored pencils. I used yellow, orange, red, and pink. The thing that's nice about colored pencils is that usually there's like a light red, a dark red, different shades of pink, so that you can have lots of, still use the warm colors, but have different shades of those colors. And then for my other one, I'm gonna use the cool colors. So you're either picking all the warm colors for your project or all the cool colors for your project. You can either use crayons or colored pencils. For this one, I'm gonna use crayon to demonstrate that. And the cool colors are blue, green, purple, and different shades of those colors. You can use a dark green and a light green, lavender, violet, dark purple, indigo, light blue, dark blue. But just to kind of, since this is fourth grade and using practicing my shading is always good, I'm gonna first just color just like we did with the last project, color it first, and then I'm gonna push a little bit harder and darken and blend a little bit, just to make it a little bit more mysterious and add another layer to my artwork that makes it look more interesting. When you look at Charles DeMuth's artwork, you can kind of see that in, um, there's different lines that break up the the bottom part of the picture and the circles are kind of the lights of the fire truck and to show like the beams of light hitting the rain because it's dark and it's at nighttime to kind of show the glare of the lights uh, the circles are broken up into different shapes and then are different shades of yellow to kind of help show that light that play with light so I'm kind of being inspired by that to do different shades of the colors that we're picking. And in this one I chose to make the circles yellow because I was thinking about the fire truck lights. But artist choice. So you'll keep coloring like that where you have kind of light in the middle of the shape and then darker towards the edges until it's all colored in with your cool colors either in crayon or colored pencil. Great job!